In this video, we're going to show how you can remote into a machine who has not yet enrolled into Intune and actually just started Windows with no configuration set with using Quick Assist and then some scripts. And we will do it in the base of a scenario. We have a fictional company called GBN and we have a remote employee in Toronto who got a new machine and our support personnel is in Sydney, Australia. So it's a bit of a problem with distance to send the machine. So first we will just verify that the hardware ID isn't in uh, Intune. So we go to the console to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We go to Devices. We go under Windows. We go uh, Windows Enrollment and we click on Devices. So here you see we already have one enrolled. Oh imported and actually the machine is enrolled this is another machine we can verify that by um, checking the name so this is not the toronto hardware that we sent that the machine doesn't exist and therefore autopilot won't work so if we scroll here remember that the name start with gbn and ends with 558 and if we go here to uh, windows devices the machine is already here, 558G Ben. So again, this is not the hardware ID for the machine in uh, Toronto. So how can our technician in Sydney help the Toronto user? We will do a little scenario here where the Sydney tech will use Quick Assist, which can be started with Control Windows Q. And our uh, Sydney tech is going to assist our um, Toronto user and give a six digit code and give some instructions and together they will import the hardware ID and be able to autopilot this uh, machine in uh, Toronto. So let's get started. Okay, so you have got the hardware. Please power on the machine. Then select your keyboard, Canadian keyboard. Then if you are not already on a LAN connection, connect to Wi-Fi. And once you have done that, please press Shift F10. Yes, that's correct, Shift F10. Then a little black command line is going to show up. And after that, you type in quickassist.exe or you can also type in quick ASS and tab the rest. Then it should open up Quick Assist. And when you have reached that far, I will tell you a six digit number and I will connect to your machine. Okay, I got my new hardware here. I'm starting it up. Okay, which country I'm in? I'm in Canada. Let's go to Canada. So here, yes, I'm already connected with a network uh, cable, so I don't need to show uh, any Wi-Fi. A Canadian multi-standard. No, I do I need another layout? No, okay, I'll skip. So you said the shift. Uh, F10. Let me put down the phone so I can hold down both buttons. Shift F10. Yes, that uh, indeed gives me a command prompt. Then you said type quick assist.exe or quick ASS and tab. Okay, let me do that. I put down the phone again. Quick. I'll tab. That indeed seems to work. And then hit enter. Okay. Quick assist have started. I'm waiting for your six digit code. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to start quick assist on mine by holding control windows Q. And I'm the one who's going to give assistance. So I click on assist another person. 
now I need to authenticate. I'm going to put down the phone and I'm back in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. I'm authenticated. And I'm soon going to give you a six digit number. Okay, it's valid for 10 minutes. The number is 300-839. Okay, I got your number. 300 839 okay I'm gonna share the screen and now we're waiting now it says waiting for the person helping you to set up the session okay I have two options take full control or view screen I will need to take full control so I'm gonna hit the continue and on your side, you're going to be asked to accept that. Please do so. Okay, I'm going to allow you. I'm going to click on allow. Thank you very much for accepting my connection. I'm now in user mode administrator and I can now uh, control your machine. Thank you very much. I'm going to put down the phone now and you have done your work. So I'm just going to do some commands and after you can restart the machine and it's going to run autopilot and set up your machine. Thank you very much. So now we are through quick assist on the user's machine. So what's next? Well, we need to import the hardware ID. That's the whole point why we connect to this machine. Excellent. So we are now on the Toronto machine and I'm here in Sydney. So now I'm going to update, the, upload the hardware ID or hardware hash, which was the whole point of this uh, video. So we are in here. So let's start um, a PowerShell. And we can start it with the execution policy execution policy unrestricted then we don't have to think about any permission after that so we start here then i like to do ise to get the um, graphical user interface so i'm going to start that and i'm going to zoom in a bit let's make it bigger let's do that a few more times oops that was zoom out uh, Perfect. So we already have the good execution policy. We can verify that by get execution policy. If we run that, we are unrestricted. That means we don't have to think about uh, some of the other lines down here, such as set execution policy or anything else. So let's get this script. That's nearly the most important. That we can do by, I'm gonna move that up here, install script and it has to be a name and the name is uh, down here it's called get so this is the commandlet that actually give us the hardware id so if we do windows autopilot info and let's put the force on that so we can run this one directly that's going to install it Now we have the command, but unfortunately it will not find it if we run it here from Getty system. So if I just run it, get windows autopilot uh, info, it's going to give an error. It can't find it. Why? Because it's actually located here under C program files, Windows PowerShell script. We could add that to the environmental, to the path, but I'm going to just go there. So, and then run it from there. Program files. 
Then it is uh, Windows PowerShell. Oh, and then it is uh, Scripts. So if we go to this directory, and now if we will run anything, it will work. And what do we want to run? I'm going to mark, we don't want to install this one again, so I'm going to comment this one out. But we, what we want to run is this last line here. Get Windows Autopilot Info. It actually find it here. I'm going to run it exactly as written here. It would still work to run the other way. So we run it as a commandlet. And here comes the thing. If you do it online, it's going to connect to your tenant after authenticating and insert the hardware ID for you. So now when we are in here, we should be able to run this command. We can control that by run get dash windows, what was it? Windows auto, if we tab, yep, we got it here. And then let's do online. And now it should connect to your tenant after authenticating, of course, and then upload the hardware ID. So I have again to authenticate. And now it's actually going to upload the hardware ID. And it's going to repeat this waiting for one on one to be imported until it's actually imported. Excellent. So now the hardware ID has been imported into Intune. So we can now ask our user to restart the machine and it's going to start the autopilot. Well done. And if you want to verify this now, if we go to our portal and go to our Windows enrollment, we should now see two instead of just one. So if we go to devices, now we have our second one here, who is not assigned yet. This is the one we just imported. See, it end with uh, 50 30. 50 30. See if I can put these uh, side by side. So the serial number match. Excellent. So we have from our technician in Sydney done this remotely through quick assist on the machine in Toronto. So this you can use yourself. And of course, TeamViewer or other remote tools are great, but they are not started so early in this process. This is the OOB out of box experience. And there you have only quick assist if you want to remote into it. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.